Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I'm at my home office uh, with my video editing computer here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a Windows 11 upgrade from Windows 10 using Windows Update. There are several ways to install Windows 11. Uh, one being just creating a USB flash drive, which you can do. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open up my browser here. And if you just do a Google search, download Windows 11, you'll get to a page like this. They give you three <clears throat> three options in here. You can download the Windows 11 installation assistant. You can create a bootable flash drive, get Windows 11 on it. Maybe if you're doing multiple devices, you can just do that. And of course, you can get the ISO image down here. So um, I'm not going to do that today. I have done many Windows 11 installs, clean installs using the USB flash drive. Um, that's one way to do it. That's the most popular probably. But today I'm just going to do it through Windows Update because a lot of you guys are probably seeing this pop up in your Windows Update. Assuming your system meets the minimum hardware requirements. Uh, main three things are you have to have UFI BIOS enabled, not MBR, um, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0 the you can go ahead if you want down here in your search bar for example type in tpm go to your security processor it'll tell you if you got 2.0 tpm which i do um, you won't you won't get this option in your windows update like this if your system doesn't meet the minimum hardware requirements it'll just tell you that your system does not meet the minimum requirements to run windows 11. Um, so also you can type in sysinfo type in sys in your search box open up system information here and you can easily check like here my BIOS mode is set to UFI not MBR and my secure boot state is currently on so I'm good to go and also you can you're, you're gonna need you know one gigahertz dual core processor or greater four gigabytes of RAM DirectX 12 uh, compatible video and 720p resolution or greater that's basically 1366 by 768 so if you're if you meet or above those requirements you're going to see this eventually pop up in your windows 10 update so this is the way i'm going to do it today just sake of demonstration like i said this is my video editing rig i've been hesitant about upgrading it to windows 11 but i thought heck i'll just make a video and show you how to do it so if you're doing it at home you can kind of see what to expect i like windows 10 i have no problems with windows 10 it will be supported well into 2025 and <clears throat> eventually you're going to have to make the switch to Windows 11 at some point if your system will support it. Now there is a 10 day window once you upgrade to Windows 11 you have 10 days to roll it back to Windows 10 so keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to leave all my apps just the way they are and all my icons I'm just going to see what it's going to look like once we're done here most of my apps and programs are all fairly new so I don't think I'll have any compatibility compatibility issues hopefully uh, you can also download the Windows 10 or Windows 11 P PC health check app double click this thing here then you up here where it says introducing Windows 11 you click on check now and it'll just show you that boom if everything's green with a check mark you're good to go which like I said I am but um, I've installed Windows 11 a lot. I have two other systems that I run it on. I've been using it for some time now. I haven't had any issues with it. It is quite a bit different than Windows 10 as far as just the layout and where things are. And of course, there are some cool new features they added in Windows 11. But I still like Windows 10. But I thought, heck, might as well update this. This is um, my video editing rig, like I said. Now, I'm not using any desktop recording software. I simply got my camera pointed at my 27 inch 4k monitor monitor I did um, crank the resolution down to 1920 by 1080 instead of 4k which is the recommended 3840 by 2160 but this way things will look a little bigger and you hopefully be able to see it better so let's go back to Windows update see if that's still sitting there so I'm just gonna simply click where it says download and install now, I personally have not done an upgrade this way through Windows Update. A lot of my customers have. Some of them have had problems or they mess it up or their system doesn't reboot or hangs. Um, 
just make sure you don't have a lot of old junky programs or apps or ones that aren't working properly make sure you get rid of those off your system before you attempt this and of course it's always a good idea to back up your data your documents your photos your videos your downloads whatever you need to back up throw them on a flash drive or an external drive um, if you want to save them because you never know what could go wrong during an upgrade like this but hopefully in my case everything will work everything will be where, where I left it and, and we'll see so right now it says upgrade to Windows 11 it says installing it's at 25 percent it's already been downloaded in the background it's been sitting there that thing's been in my Windows update for some time but I've just been ignoring it depending on the speed of your internet the the process before installing where it says downloading that can take some time if you have slower internet so be patient So now this pops up. I'm going to fast forward through some of the slow, <laughs> slow moving parts of this upgrade, so I won't bore you with that. But I just kind of want to walk you through it in real time, and we'll see how it goes. Now it's checking to see if we're ready to install. It's at 35% up here. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and like button. I'd appreciate it, guys. This really is the first video I've done with per Windows 11. I plan to do more here in the near future. It's been out for a while. Uh, so it says almost ready. We need to do a few more things before you can update. We'll let you know when, when we're done and what to do next. So I'm going to, this window will automatically close in two minutes. I'll just leave it there. So now we're up to 40% installing. When it's at that screen where it says seeing if you're ready it's basically looking for compatible or in, incompatible apps or programs or issues you might have that you you'll have to cancel the install address those issues and then try it again but so far so good it looks like but i wanted to do it with the camera just pointing at the screen because desktop recording software you know during reboots and whatnot can be a pain in the butt and I don't want I didn't want to do this video using a virtual machine like I said I'm just doing it on my computer I have a lot of important stuff on here I don't want to lose I do have all my data backed up of course just did that the other day I just want to see if that one is going to automatically close or not Now currently, as far as I know, Windows 10 Pro, or I'm sorry, Windows 11 Pro will still allow you to set up Windows 11 with a local account. and won't force you to sign in to your Microsoft account or create one. However, in the near future here, my understanding is that even Windows 11 Pro is going to start requiring a Microsoft account. A lot of people are pissed about that. I don't blame them. Right now, I'm set up as a local account on my Windows 10 Pro here. I don't want to have to sign in with password, and I don't care about syncing across multiple devices as far as Microsoft is concerned. But then again, when you're thinking about it, if you got an iPhone, an Android phone, uh, a Chromebook, those types of devices, those absolutely require that you have an account set up and you have to sign in or stay signed in. So Microsoft has decided, well, everybody else is doing it. We might as well do it too. It's just kind of a pain being you know, in a repair shop. I get customers' computers in or if I'm setting up a new computer with Windows 11, I either got to have the customer there to set up the Microsoft account or I got to do it over the phone. And some people are hesitant about giving out passwords to their Microsoft account. But I always tell them you can just change it later if you want. Just need to kind of keep moving it slows down production let's say <laughs> so the window did close we're at 40 percent 41 so we'll see how long this will take all right guys we made it through the 
Windows update process here. <clears throat> um, I didn't mention earlier, but I guess the notifications popping up here telling me I need to restart. Uh, might be a good idea to disable like sleep mode on your computer during what I was just doing there. So just just in case. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and click restart now and see what happens. Like I said, I haven't done Windows 11 upgrade this way before. So I just kind of wanted to see how it works. So now we're going to go through this step here. Then we'll get into the Windows 11 setup, hopefully. And again, depending on the speed of your processor, your, you know, your system overall is going to kind of dictate how long each of these steps will take. Just got to be patient. Updates are underway. Restarting. Yay. Oh, my screen's kind of dusty. Should have cleaned it. <laughs> you probably can't see it. Hopefully, got my monitor. Sorry about the glare there. So if you were doing this at home on your own computer, it's basically gonna do the same steps. Got my camera blow off center there, sorry guys. I think. Move it a little bit. Don't mean to make you dizzy. Try that. Don't know what it's doing now, but we'll see, I guess. <clears throat> Looks like another restart. All right, now we're into the familiar screen. Kind of like what you would get with a Windows 10, but we're obviously setting up Windows 11. I've had some subscribers ask me to walk through a Windows 11 upgrade process, so this is one of the reasons I'm doing it for y'all. And again, really depending on the speed of your computer is going to dictate how long all this will take. Every computer is different. Mine's a fairly fast computer, you might say. <laughs> I use it for all my video editing. Gets the job done. Yes, we will keep it turned on and plugged in. Well, wow, it didn't ask me to, to do the initial setup like you would normally do if you're doing a clean install. So it looks like I still have my local account, which is good. I didn't have to sign into anything. And here's the famous start menu everybody loves to hate. All my apps are loading up here. I don't want to update my Armory Crate just yet, or my NZXT. So yeah, looks like we got a good Windows 11 upgrade. Um, now with Windows 11, of course, comes a lot of bloatware. Uh, when you first click on your start menu, you're going to see some of it. You know, Disney and Clipchamp and TikTok and Prime Video. You can <clears throat> simply right-click on these, hit uninstall, just use Instagram. Um, I mean, doing this stuff on your phone is one thing, but on your computer, it's like, eh, no thanks. Just want to clean all this stuff out of you. You can see I'm just right-clicking and hitting uninstall. They go pretty quick. I don't use OneNote. 
Now we've got to do it through add remove programs. Uh, now, after you do, let's see, I'm going to click on start. I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to down here, right on the main system screen. I'm going to go down to, I believe, recovery right here. Uh, and right here we have this option that says go back. So if I hit go back, it's going to put me back to Windows 10. You have a 10 day window to do that for whatever reason. If you want to get Red 11, go back to 10. Keep all your stuff, all your settings, all your apps, data, that kind of thing. Also, let's see, I'm going to open up my file explorer here. You can see all the pretty icons. Yay. Go to this PC. Oh, I got to clean up that drive. Um, go to my C drive, right click. <clears throat> I'm going to go to properties. And I'm going to click over here where it says disk cleanup. And I believe oh, we have to go to clean up system files here. Just want to see what the options are in here. This will take a minute. Should pop up here shortly. Come on. All right, where'd you go? Yeah, it's working. But you should be able to, I would wait to get outside of that 10 day window. You can go in and you should be able to get rid of uh, any previous installations of windows that are in there oh there it comes it just takes a minute for it to calculate it's going to look for previous windows installs it should give the option to, to remove your old older version of windows altogether but like i said wait till after that 10 days is up in case you want to go back because it will warn you once you get rid of all that um, you won't be able to roll back so to speak and you know if you're short on disk space you can do that to free up usually quite a bit of space 20 30 gigabytes let's see here uh previous window install 25.2 gigabytes so i'm not going to do that right now just wanted to get through the uh upgrade here it looks like all my for the most part all my icons are where they were before except all in the center down here you do have the option to move your task bar or your start menu and all this back over to the left if you want so there that upgrade went pretty good i hope it was helpful guys appreciate you watching uh don't forget to subscribe and like i'd appreciate it have a good day